How's it going guys? 3.27 a.m. January 24th here in Japan. We have a medium difficulty question from SK for step one, family medicine, internal medicine to CK. 48 year old woman, six month history, swelling and pain of the feet and hands, physical exam shows swelling of the metatarsals, metacarpals, proximal phalanges. There's clubbing of the hands, x-ray of the hands and feet show new bone formation. Blood pressure 140 over 90, 60 pack year history of smoking. Question wants to know the next best step in diagnosis. Let's just whip through the answers here. Choice A, anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide, anti-CCP, wrong fucking answer. This is the most specific antibody for rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid factor, which is an IgM antibody against the FC region of IgG, is more sensitive for RA. It's less likely patients will be positive for anti-CCP, but it is more specific, meaning it rules in if a patient has it. Now, although RA classically is symmetric, where it appears we have bilateral findings here, which could in theory be consistent with RA, it's kind of unlikely that 48 years old, would be the first time we have the diagnosis, classically 20s to 30s in USMLE. Not impossible, but just slightly older than we would expect for first time RA diagnosis. Clubbing, unlikely in rheumatoid arthritis, unless we had advanced pulmonary disease, rheumatoid lung can cause restrictive lung disease as well as methotrexate use, but this would presumably be first time diagnosis anyway. New bone formation could in theory refer to panis formation in RA. We're just going to keep looking through the answer choices, okay? So choice B, anti-nuclear antibody, wrong fucking answer. Exceedingly rare that this is ever correct on USMLE. About, I think there's one question on one of the NBME exams where they just gave a patient who had an autoimmune disease and said what would most likely be seen and it's positive anti-ANA. It's a past level question, but pretty much always it's the wrong fucking answer because it's not specific for anything. It's It tends to be sensitive for autoimmune disease, meaning if ANA is negative, we can likely rule out an autoimmune disease, but not specific for anything. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, bone nutsitometry, wrong answer. So this would be done at age 65 in all women, okay? And then depending on their T-score, uh, they will either get a bone nutsitometry every two years or uh, greater lengths of time, such as up to 15 years if their bone density is normal. It's just a family medicine uh, detail you need to be aware of. Okay, you start bone densitometry of the spine and the hip at age 60. You, you do your first one at age 65, and then the interval depends on your T-score. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice DHLAB, 27 screening, wrong answer. Similar to ANA, almost always wrong on USMLE. If uh, you need to know that this refers to the pair constellation, PAIR, psoriasis, ankylosing spondylitis, inflammatory bowel disease, which is UC and Crohn, as well as reactive arthritis, formerly Reiter syndrome. So for, ex for example, if you had a kid who had blood in the stool, 16 year old with blood in the stool and has back pain that's worse in the morning, gets better throughout the day, that could in theory be Crohn with early ankylosing spondylitis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, e, x-ray screening, nebulous answer choice, which I did on purpose because I'm an asshole, uh, is the correct answer, okay? So we're going to do a chest x-ray in this patient. Now, if you think this is weird or tricky, don't take it up at me. Take it up at the NBME exam, okay? This is what they do. They want chest x-ray here. And the diagnosis is hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, aka, if you want to be fancy, osteoarthropathia hypertrophicans, which is going to be lung cancer plus arthritis plus clubbing. Okay, now if you want to go online, you find all, find all fancy path terminology, periostosis, okay, you get periosteal changes, which refers to new bone formation on x-ray here. They mentioned this detail on the NBME exam. But for your consolidation's sake, what you need to know, what I want you to take away from this clip, is if you have a patient who's a long-term smoker where they're at risk for lung cancer, and they get finding swellings of the hands, plus or minus the feet, they mentioned the metatarsals on the NBME question as well, plus clubbing, okay? This is a fibrovascular reaction. That is going to be hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. So it's just a diagnosis you need to be aware of, okay? Hit students, it's a bit of a blindsider, but it shows up a few times on the NBME exam. You know the deal, I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time, that's it.